Hello, my gorgeous Libras. How are you doing, beautiful, gorgeous boo-boo? This is going to be your love tarot reading for you and your person, whatever that means to you, baby, situation, trip, relationship, bumble day, marriage. Uh, whoever is at the forefront of your mind, please show me angels what's happening for Libra and their person. Uh, also, Libra, if you are new to the channel, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you, gorgeous. I really appreciate all of your love and support, Bibu. I'm in Vedic astrology. I'm also a Libra. Libra, I believe I'm a Libra rising. Seven of uh, cups here for your person, Bibu. Already, I can see regrets, deep regrets. <laughs> uh, whatever they thought, you know, this we're always kind of low-key assuming there's a rift or separation going on here in the you versus system reads. So this rift or separation, Mm. could have happened because your person uh, was undecided or uh, uh, flaky, afraid of commitment. So they walked away from something good and now they're feeling a little stupid and a little empty and they're feeling unfulfilled by the situation. Um, I think they, they realized that they gaslighted themselves regarding you know how fun it would be to not be in this connection anymore. It is not a good look. It's not a good feel. They feel... They, I'm, I was almost want to say bored. That's probably not the right word because they're regretful and empty. Yeah, they feel empty. You know, it's like, um, you know, this feeling of emptiness, like un, just unfulfilled. This person is unfulfilled. They've realized that with whatever they were looking for when they, you know, left this connection, whatever they were looking for, they didn't find outside of it because, you know, love and beauty and fulfillment is inside of us, not outside of us. It isn't money. It isn't things we have it, it's none of those things we boot ten of pentacles it uh, tells me here that this person sees you as their home uh th the home is where the heart is and you are their heart uh they do regret this terribly this person left the household if it was a marriage we're an established connection where a person left the household if you have children together something like that this person has a lot of deep regrets they're not doing very well they could be you know drinking too much eating too much trying to like Drown their sorrows. I see a very depressive mood uh, here, Bibi. This is someone who's feeling depressed, someone who's feeling, feeling very, very low. They want to reverse this ending. Uh, you got the death reversed. Um, Sometimes I read reverse. I mean, I don't read. I don't normally read reversals, but uh, this week I've been reading reversals for some reason. So let's just do it that way. Um, death reversed. This is someone who wants to reverse this situation. But if even if it had come up um, upright and uh, with the with the surrounding cards, it still would have been a reversal of death. It would have been a transformation of the present moment. Um, but also, this person wants something to die. They want the past to die. You know what happened here between you? This rift. Let me see why the rift happened. Uh, you know all the bad stuff, the bad feeling, the things they did. You know all the sins they committed. They want all of that to die. They want the bad feeling to die. They want things to start again. Yeah, they want the separation to end, basically. Uh, King of Pentacles, uh, but it's taken them a long time to come around, come back around quite possibly. Um, a lot of grounded energy here. Uh, you could be dealing with an earth sign, boo -boo, or you could be dealing with someone who is slow to action, slow to moving, almost unmovable. This is, you know, someone who likes to be the boss in a con connection or the boss in a family. Um, this is someone who, yeah, w wants to end the separation. This person got lost uh, in this connection. You know, if it was a new connection, you got the hermit here. Uh, if, it was a, if it was a new connection, like Bimbo, Himbo, from Tender, anyone in between, suddenly this person ghosted. Uh, it's because this person was lost. Uh, they had bad counsel, quite possibly their own internal counsel was like off, like their picker was off, the whole situation was off. Uh, I'll tell you what I, I'm seeing here. I'm seeing uh, someone who didn't know what they want. This person didn't know what they want. They didn't know which way to go. They didn't know they wanted to commit, what they wanted from life. Yeah. And they, they just, you know... Um, I'm getting a bit of a sneaky energy here, uh, Seven of Swords, boo -boo. so, you know, this is someone who was a little sneaky, uh, this is someone who, especially if, if it was a new connection, could have told you, yeah, I definitely want a commitment, I want this, I want that, and then, then they d did a 180 on you, and you did feel cheated and betrayed by that. They thought they were so smart and sneaky, so they were like, oh, yeah, I'll just, like, say whatever, and then, you know, see what happens kind of thing. It's slight player energy, but kind of low-level player, not very smart, not very good at playing kind of thing and this person is realizing now that uh what they did was a mistake seven of cups here 
you know, more of that kind of like gaslighty player energy quite possibly as well. But this is a player who played himself, baby. This is what I'm seeing here. This is a player who played himself, uh, herself, themselves. Sorry, uh, I, I don't mean to gender the tarot. It's just uh, I've, this figure here lo looks like a guy. Um, played himself. Okay, yeah, played himself, themselves, doesn't matter. Um, this person currently, currently is in a position where they are transitioning uh, emotionally. You know, they've gone through a dark side of the uh, dark night of the soul. Uh, they're working, you know, through their shadow self and, and coming right back to you, Bibel. Uh, two of Wands is someone who is um, on the verge of taking action, taking in the situation, taking taking in what happened here, uh, trying to come up legitimately like with a cunning plan to come back into your life, but it's not easy. It's taken them a long time because they're stopping themselves because, because they're unsure. They're unsure of what, how you're going to receive them, what you're gonna do. They're unsure of you know whether they can be successful here. This person doesn't like to be unsuccessful. This person likes, this is someone who likes to be uh, in control. This is someone who uh, isn't uh, beyond manipulation a little bit. You know, this is someone who quite possibly just maybe is not as spiritually evolved as you. This is someone who had a lot of connections in the past. You know, I feel like this person also had a lot of connections in the past where they were bet betrayed. I don't think this person has ever had like love with a capital L, you know what I mean? A relationship with a capital R, boo -boo. I think this person is used to people using them, betraying them, they're used to snakes. And they just kind of assumed that's what would happen here too. Uh, especially if it's a new connection, this person assumed like they just don't believe in love, you know? Uh, they've been hurt so many times before, this person doesn't believe in love, they thought that you would eventually hurt them one way or another. So they struck out before you could strike them. Uh, communication is coming. It's not going to be easy. It will take a lot of courage from this person. I do feel like communication is coming. You've got the Queen of Swords and the Two of Cups, which is soulmate energy. Uh, so definitely that's coming up here for you. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of soulmate energy here. A lot of resurrection energy here with death. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or an unevolved dark side Scorpio kind of person. But Bill, you have the Two of Cups uh, and uh, the Queen of Swords. So yeah, I, I see someone coming in to talk. Uh, about this love connection and this is you know this conversation is going to happen in the next uh, two hours two days two weeks or two months boo boo depending on your timeline these are these are timeless readings um whenever they find you as long as uh, they resonate for you they were meant for you boo boo my darling libra uh let's get an angel oracle card here for you as well just get uh get a little bit of advice but this person is coming back in for a conversation they are not happy with the decision they made um you know quite possibly this is a situation where someone you know uh someone was a player someone was living this like low vibrational life assuming everyone cheats assuming everyone plays games assuming everyone's a bad person and then um you know they met you and they realized oh damn i i actually jeopardized a good thing because i was still in this like low vibrational mode and if it was a longer term connection this person was just you know they were searching for something you know how it is. People people might go be going through a midlife crisis or some f kind of unhappiness because they're unhappy on the inside. And instead of talking it out with their partner, they go and you know try and distract themselves by thinking, oh well, if only maybe I was single again, or if only you know if only I hadn't married this young, if only I didn't have kids, and I would achieve this. And it's it's illusion. All of these things are illusions because the happiness is within them. Um, they try to run, run, this person tried to escape responsibility and they found that the more they run from the responsibility, the more it weighs them down. So they're coming back. Yeah, new love. It, it will be like a whole new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Also, uh, Libra, maybe that you've moved on or you met someone new and now this person has a rival. So it's all up to you, Babu. But this is also telling me that, you know, if you want to take this person back, they will they will have to do a lot of transform transformative things here. Like they're, like they're expecting to with the death card. They will have to transform. It will have to be a totally new relationship, totally new connection, new love. And it's about starting again too, you know. 
starting again, putting the past in the past and uh, going forward together. I do have the Nine of Cups here at the bottom of the deck, which is telling me that potentially this could still be a fulfilling uh, connection and relationship if you both really, really wanted to build. This is what I have for you today, Libra. Let me know in the comments below if this resonated for you, Bibu. Uh, also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on that notification button, and of course, like the video, because that really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube, Bibu. I will see you next time, Libra. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye, and may the angels protect you.